Okay guys, in this video we're going to show you how to do a kettlebell swing. So to do this movement, just like Jordan is here, you want your feet starting shoulder width apart, toes facing forward, and you're just holding the kettlebell with your arms hanging straight down. Then to initiate the movement, you're going to sit your hips back and let the kettlebell swing between your legs, and then you're going to push your hips forward and bring your arms up to shoulder height. So if you watch here, he's going to sit his hips back, and then push forward and let the kettlebell swing with that motion. Okay, so you can see, let's back it up, that there's very little movement in the knees. If you freeze right there, his hips are sitting back, his knees are slightly bent, but majority of the motion is in the hips. So let's play a couple more reps. You can see here his hips are sit, are sit back behind his heels, his back is neutral, and the kettlebell is swinging between the legs. And then from here, he's just going to push his hips forward and let the arms swing up. Okay, so a big mistake we usually see is that in this position, instead of just hinging in the hips and letting the kettlebell swing back, we see a lot of knee movement, like that. Boom. So now you can see his upper back here is rounded. His hips are still sitting back, but his knees are bent. That's not what we want. We want it to be more like this, when you just see the hips moving. Okay, so this rep here, you'll see the bad rep. And that's not what we want. Okay, so let's replay one more time. Watch the good rep where his hips sit back, push forward, and let the arms swing up. And you can compare it to the bad rep right there where his knees are bending, and it's more of a squat pattern. All right, guys, I hope that helped. If you have any questions, let us know.